Hi there, today we will learn a few tricks in creating Aspen Hysis simulation for the acetone production from dehydrogenation of isopropyl alcohol. Uh, let's look at the flash drum and the absorber. The feed entering the flash drum, stream number 6. Uh, we want to separate the acetone and IPA and the hydrogen uh, that are inside this stream number 6. So we use flash drum and absorber. In the, by optimizing the flash drum condition, uh, stream number 7 will mostly consist of hydrogen with a small amount of acetone and IPA. So this stream number 7 is further separated in the absorber. By adding water, the water will uh, absorb the acetone and IPA so that the hydrogen will come out uh, in stream 12. So stream 12 will consist mostly of hydrogen. But there will be a little bit amount of hydrogen in stream 11 and also a little bit amount of hydrogen in stream 10. 11 and 10 will combine to form stream 13. So this stream 13 will mostly consist of acetone and IPA and then based on the given uh, uh, design design constraint, we want to minimize the acetone loss. So you need to fulfill that by optimizing the condition. And also, uh, there will be a minute amount of hydrogen in stream 13. This minute amount of hyd hydrogen will enter the distillation column. Now, the this will make the distillation column design and operation become very complex because this small amount of hydrogen will enter the condenser. And then to condense hydrogen from vapor to liquid, it requires a very low temperature in the range of negative hundreds of uh, degrees Celsius. So uh, this does not happen in reality. When there's a minute amount of hydrogen, this minute amount of hydrogen will escape from the V10 through and go to the uh, flare system. Okay, so, uh, but HiSys cannot perform this uh, simulation. So, how can we uh, remove the hydrogen in the Aspen HiSys simulation so that there's no hydrogen in the feed entering the distillation column? Okay, so what we will do in HiSys, right, is just for the sake of HiSys simulation. So, it's not what really happening in the plan okay okay so i'm using this uh, aspen high simulation created by one group uh, let's see uh, their stream number six right contains a uh, 54.54 kilomole per hour of acetone and 7.44 kilomole per hour of ipa so by using the flash drum and the absorber, they already optimize the temperature and pressure of the flash drum and also optimize the flow rate of water entering the absorber. And then they are able to remove, recover most of the acetone and IPA. So let's look at the amount of uh, acetone and IPA recovered. Stream 13 consists of 53.35 kmol per hour of acetone. Okay, stream 6 is 54.54, so the recovery is very high, right? There's only a loss of like 1.2 uh, kilomole per hour of acetone. And then for IPA, the recovery is 100%. Okay, so stream 6 and stream 13 has the same amount of uh, IPA. Now hydrogen, stream 13 still consists of a minute amount of hydrogen, so we want to separate this hydrogen from the acetone IPA so that the feed entering the distillation column will not have any hydrogen. So how should we go about it? We go to separator and then we select component splitter. Okay, then we add the component splitter into the simulation column. Double click on the component splitter and then we add in stream number 14. And then the bottom outlet, let's say we name it as 14, no uh, hydrogen. And then the overhead column is 14 uh, hydrogen. Okay, so once we specify all the inlet and outlet, now look at this tab, unknown split. Okay, so that means we have to go split and then we specify the split here is based on the component and based on the fit fraction. So in the stream 14 hydrogen, what we want is just hydrogen. That means there's no IPA. So we specify the fraction as zero for IPA, for acetone also zero, for hydrogen is one, and then for water is also zero. Okay, once we do that, 
tells us here at the bottom tab unknown overhead pressure that means we have to specify pressure okay I uh, will equalize all stream pressure because uh, I want the inlet and the outlet have the same pressure okay so the pressure is 200 kilopascal okay now the last step is to define the vapor fraction remember the 14 hyphen h2 is a uh, vapor okay so we just specify this as vapor so vapor the vapor fraction is one okay and then the 14 no hydrogen is saturated liquid so the vapor fraction is zero so now the the component splitter simulation is complete now you can see uh, 14 hyphen hi hydrogen right the temperature is minus 250.3 this is the saturated vapor temperature of hydrogen at uh, 200 kilopascal so negative 250.3 so it's very low right it requires a very low temperature okay okay so that's how we set the component splitter so now we can check our stream 14 no hydrogen uh, here doesn't consist of any hydrogen okay so we have done that so now now you can continue with the simulation let's say you want to add your uh, shortcut column okay so then your shortcut column fit is the 14 no hydrogen okay and then your distillate is let's say stream number 19 and then your bottom is stream number 21 okay and then condenser duty let's say you just put q condenser then reboiler okay unknown key component then you can specify the key component the light key in this case is acetone and then the heavy key it can be ipa can be water let's say in this case i select ipa the acetone light key in the bottom we want it to be very small let's say 0 0.01 and then the heavy key in the distillate we want very small amount of ipa also in the top so we specify 0 0.01 okay then we specify the condenser pressure just now the fit is 200 kilopascal let's say the condenser pressure is slightly lower 190 kilopascal the reboiler pressure let's say is slightly higher than the fit uh, 210 kilopascal okay so the high sys will perform the minimum reflux ratio calculation is 1.7 so we have to specify the reflux ratio reflux ratio is 1.2 times minimum reflux ratio so 1.2 times 1.7 and just put a random number huh? so don't follow me let's say it's 2.0 and then the simulation converge okay so that's how we uh, use component splitter to remove the hydrogen so that the fit that enters the distillation column does not consist of any hydrogen okay that's all thank you